we have studied all the major reaction of this chapter and now whatever the reaction is that will be very trivial kind of so let's start to study them one by one and quickly finish them so we'll not be spending much time because all the reactions will be very trivial if we have been practicing on the mechanism of the reaction that we have studied up till now and some of them we have already studied in the chapter of hydrocarbon so uh, it will be fast so uh, to begin with all these trivial reactions the first in the list will be perkin condensation or Perkins reaction. As is there will be nothing, nothing, nothing new. All of the thing we have studied already and we'll just go through this once. What happens in Perkins reaction is, suppose I take a benzaldehyde and we take an anhydride. Suppose a uh, I take acetic anhydride and we'll take a salt of the acid whose anhydride we have taken. So we have taken anhydride of acetic acid. So we will take the salt of acetic acid. So when we take this, then we get a product and this particular reaction is called Perkins condensation or Perkins reaction. Now we will quickly write the mechanism based upon the understanding we have developed and we will reach to the product. In the no new concept is going to come in the path and whatever it is we have already studied it so it won't be a problem we have taken this this basically is a salt and this is the anhydride so how the reaction will begin benzaldehyde is a neutral molecule benzaldehyde is not going to do anything and anhydride is neutral as well so this salt Along with the salt, if we take a base, suppose I take BH, B minus, and B minus is the base. This base can be hydroxide. This base can be any other weak base. This base can be alkoxide. Now, if we take this base, then this acetate ion is stable because it has equivalent resonating structure. So this base is the one that is going to initiate the reaction. Base abstracts proton, and there is no acidic hydrogen here in benzaldehyde we had this discussion before now if you look at anhydride then if this hydrogen of the methyl in the anhydride is a little bit acidic because when you remove this hydrogen then the negative charge comes on carbon and this carbon can do resonance with this C double bond O although the extent of resonance will be less because from the other side, oxygen is also pumping its electron into C double bond O. But this oxygen is in cross conjugation. Its electron is going in both the C double bond O. So the extent of resonance of this oxygen with one C double bond O is less. So this C minus have some chance of doing resonance with C double bond O. And plus there are three electronegative atoms. The minus I effect of this whole group on the right hand side will be considerable to make this C minus stable. So this is a acidic hydrogen, not too much acidic, but it is sufficiently acidic that a base will abstract hydrogen. Right? So the first step of the reaction would be base comes and abstracts hydrogen. like this. Now you have a C minus and you know what the C minus does. We have learned a many reactions and the C minus has a reputation of going and attacking carbonyl group. That's what C minus does because it has to stabilize itself and there's no other way of stabilizing itself if there is no H plus. It has to go and attack a polar bond. The polar bond present here is that of benzaldehyde. This C double bond O. These C double bond O are not polar. This, this carbon and this carbon won't have much polarity because oxygen is pumping its electron on both C double bond O. So the deficiency of this car, these carbon has been decreased by the resonance of lone pair of this oxygen. But this carbon is considerable or at least more polar than these carbons. So this benzaldehyde is the one that is going to be attacked by the C minus. Right, so in the next step, this C minus is going to attack this carbon. So what are we going to have?
सिंपल दिस नथिंग न्यू ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर वेरी ट्रिवियल फाइन नाउ अलोंग विद दिस बेस अलोंग विद दिस बेस इफ देर आर सम एच प्लस और द एच प्लस विच दिस बेस हैज एब्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम हेयर दैट विल बी गिवन बैक टू दिस ऑक्सीजन एंड वेन दैट गिवन बैक then this oxygen will be protonated so i'm i'm just writing it here itself after protonation this will be neutralized like this now after this is done now if we are adding h plus h2o and we are adding little heat when this is done then this is anhydride fine as we know acids hydrolyze as we have seen amides also hydrolyze in in this chapter so does anhydride this hydrolysis of anhydride h plus h plus h2o is a reagent for hydrolysis we have been seeing this in many many reactions that we have studied before so this anhydride will be hydrolyzed as ester is hydrolyzed as amides are hydrolyzed as acyl chloride is hydrolyzed same goes with anhydrides and this part comes out so this part comes out as, as an acid and this this oh will also be added to this carbon so the left hand part also becomes carboxylic acid right hand part also comes out as carboxylic acid that's how the hydrolysis occur so when hydrolysis occur this part this part goes as acetic acid and from the left hand side what we have is beta hydroxy carboxylic acid this is carboxylic acid this is the alpha position and at you, as you can see at the beta position we have a hydroxy group fine as we did for aldol condensation if you remember when we heated that aldol then if if i can write hydrogen like this then this water molecule came out this we have studied when we studied aldol condensation so this is not a new concept for us nothing is new in this reaction this water will come out and you will have a c double bond c double bond c generated here fine so now you will have this is alpha position this is beta position after getting heated if i can rub this off if we because i have i have given heat so actually this is going to go hand in hand we are showing it in different step but it will the moment it this this oh is neutralized and this hydrolysis is occurring at the same time this dehydration would also be occurring so when this is heated this water from here comes out and there's unsaturation developed between alpha carbon and beta carbon and this is what we are going to have this is called as alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid this acid is a important acid it's called cinnamic acid it no its name it's it's a important acid this is cinnamic acid fine so this is how you will get cinnamic acid there's nothing new the first step first acid base reaction base abstracted hydrogen from here that's the obvious thing that could have happened there's no other possibility you understand this from aldol condensation and various other reaction that this c minus is going to attack a carbonyl group that carbonyl group is that of benzaldehyde when it attack this now again this is we have been doing it in all the reactions that this o minus has to be neutralized took h plus from the base which took h plus in the previous step from this substrate it got neutralized you hydrolyzed it this anhydride part went away now you have carboxylic acid you are also providing heat when you provide heat condensation occur this water molecule comes out and you get unsaturation this kind of unsaturation was also there in case of in 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 the reaction of aldol condensation so then there we had the c double bond over here there we had a ketonic or aldehyde group not carboxylic acid so there we had alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound here we have alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid the steps are similar fine but they call it perkins condensation okay